How's it going, guys? So there's some game deals right now, which I thought some people would be interested in. Since a lot of my subscribers are into Dark Souls, I'll start with Dreamscaper, an isometric roguelike game with Souls-like elements. While many roguelikes have a dodging element, this one actually feels Souls-like due to its slower pace and the ability to block attacks. Since Epic Games has a sale where you get $10 off any game $14.99 or higher, you can get this game and the other games I'm mentioning for significantly less than their normal sale price at other stores. The next game is Kingdoms of Amalur, an open world fantasy RPG. While this game does have roll dodging and blocking, I wouldn't exactly describe it as Souls-like, but I do think the gameplay is better than Skyrim. Another game on sale is Hades, a highly praised roguelike by the makers of Transistor and Bastion. I haven't played it yet, but like I mentioned, it has extremely good reviews. And I, I have played Transistor and Bastion, which are pretty good games as well. You can also get all three of the Tomb Raider games free for a limited time. I've only played a little bit of them, but I did find it fun to play. Either way, you can't beat free. Roguebook, a roguelike card game by the makers of Faria, is also on sale. I enjoyed Roguebook, but if you're a fan of Faria, you might be disappointed if you expect too much. However, I think it's worth trying it at sale price. There's also Immortals Phoenix Rising, which is an action-adventure game which people describe as a cross between Zelda and Assassin's Creed. It's still $14 even with a special discount, so you might want to wait until the price drops more. But there's a free demo you can play if you want to try out the gameplay. On Fanatical, there's a bundle where you can get Shadows Awakening for only a dollar. It's an isometric ARPG like Diablo, but unlike other games in that genre, you control a party of four characters. I played it a bit last year and I found it pretty fun. Definitely worth trying for only a dollar. It also has controller support which is nice. And finally we have King's Bounty Warriors of the North, a strategy RPG. I haven't played this game but I've put hundreds of hours into other King's Bounty games which are similar. So I would recommend trying this if you like turn-based RPGs. And if you want to hear more game deals, check out my Twitter. I'll put a link in the description. And you can also find a link to it on my channel homepage. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys.